Hey everybody, it's Bill and Pam, owners of Soulmates and Sawdust here in Columbia, Tennessee. Uh, welcome to our channel. Tonight, we're, or today we're going to be working on this beautiful antique desk here. Uh, we do a lot of refinishing uh, with our business. Um, it's, it's, the worst part is the sanding and stripping. Uh, and today we're going to be working on a wonderful, fun piece with this claw and ball foot. I've always had trouble. Uh, most of the time we end up getting little pieces of sandpaper and just going in the grooves and trying to uh, get out as much as possible. But today, or the other day I should say, I found this Dremel attachment and it's called the 180, 220 or 280, my eyes are terrible, uh, Grit Finishing Abrasive Buff. And this is what it looks like. Is it on? Yep. And it also comes with another one. And the mandrel I use, or the arbor that I use, is the same one that I use for my cutting disc, which is this. And it just screws on top. We're also going to maybe play with this, um, this flipping piece, little sandpaper piece here. It just spins, and we'll see how that does as opposed to this one. I have never used this before, I'll be honest with you. I don't use a lot of Dremel uh, accessories or tools, uh, mostly my large uh, tools. But for these, we're going to try it. Um, now, my wife yesterday was able to get a lot of this off with our... Um, What's the, the surf, prep. surf prep, which is a fantastic machine. She sanded most of this off with the surf prep. We just have to get all these little detail areas now. And we're going to try using this. All right. So to get started, first thing first, my sun, my sunglasses, my uh, safety glasses. And there's a lot of dust with this. So we're going to put on a dust mask. Whoops. All right, so let's work on, what do we got here? Let's work on this inside portion here. Now it kind of bogs down on low speed. I only have a two speed Dremel, so we're gonna put it on high speed. Not bad. Not bad. It does a very nice job, actually. It still won't get into those little corners here, these little crevices. Still going to have to use some sandpaper for that. And the problem also is that it's eating away at this abrasive pad very quickly. And at almost $9 for a set of these, um, I, I'll probably go through several of them just to try to get all um, around all of these... Uh, a claw and ball feet. So I don't know if this is going to work. Uh, I also just saw a video about using, let me take this off, using abrasive pads. There's a guy I saw on a video who uh, was using abrasive pads, the square ones that you can get at uh, any of the big uh, box stores. Uh, they're about this thin, and he cuts circles out of them and puts them on the same Dremel. So we're going to try that next time uh, to see if that works. But this does a very nice job. If I only had one claw foot to do, 
who has that. But if I only had one to do, this would probably work out well. I think as much as this is deteriorating, I'll probably go through one per foot. Um, so again, it's not going to be a viable option for us uh, to do all these feet. Hey, all right, so we, we decided, I, I went ahead and I put the, the next one on just to see how that would work. And the same thing happened within half of the, the, the claw and ball foot, just tore it to shreds. Uh, it does a nice job, but it doesn't last very long at all. So the other thing we bought that we thought might work is one of these flap wheels. And it looks like this. Runs about $9. And we're going to see how that works. Don't know how it'll work in some of these corners here, but you know what? The other, this one, once you started going, getting inside here, that's where it seemed to tear up the, the piece most into here. So I don't know if this is going to work in there, in that groove around the ball, but it should do a nice job in here on these curved areas. So let's give it a shot. Safety goggles. I'm going to put a mask on because it's very dusty. We're going to turn it on high speed. As long as you hold it at the right angle, it seems to get in some of the corners pretty good. So I'm not really, I don't know if you'd say proficient in Dremel because I don't use it a whole lot. But it's relatively simple to understand the concept. And I should probably go with the grain. thing gets really hot. It's an older Dremel, so um, maybe the newer ones uh, run a little cooler, I don't know. But this seemed to work, and it still has a lot of grit left on it. I can probably get at least half of these, all four of these, done. It still won't get in these corners, in these grooves here. I'm going to have to use a uh, little piece of sandpaper or uh, uh, and a pick or something. But uh, we're, we'll figure that out like we always do. Uh, my recommendation is the flip wheel or flap wheel, I think they call it. Um, the video, other videos I saw with these uh, seem to be real good for metal if you were, were trying to um, clean up your tools or something. But on wood, it just rips these things up pretty quickly. Uh, so we're going to go with this. All right, that's it. Um, again, if you like our content, please uh, like and, su and subscribe to us. It's uh, Soulmates and Sawdust. Uh, we'll have more videos coming up soon. Thanks, guys.